Fernando, looking back at uh, 2010, uh, the season, what sort of emotions did that conjure up for you? Great feelings. Uh, more, I think, in 2010, better uh, memories I have. Uh, sure, Abu Dhabi, after Abu Dhabi, uh, there is a sad feeling, uh, disappointment uh, for all of us, but uh, looking at the championship in general, at the 2010 year, uh, overall, has been a a great season for me. Uh, finishing second in a world championship is never easy uh, for any driver. Fighting until the last moment, not easy at all. But for me, it was uh, more than that. I think I recovered some feelings that I, I missed in 2008, 2009. Not fighting for the championship was hard. Not fighting for podiums was difficult. Uh, in 2010, I didn't lose my self-confidence in a way, but uh, I really wanted a 2010 like it was uh, to fully uh, recover my confidence, uh, my driving style, my uh, motivation for, uh, for uh, fighting for the championship. So 2011, I start in a better way, uh, full of confidence and, and stronger. Yeah, you seem to be the only person uh, after Silverstone that thought you still had a chance of the championship. Most of us had written you off at that point, so the second half was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Uh, car was improving uh, after Valencia, uh, big step. Uh, Silverstone as well, so sure after the disappointment of Valencia and Silverstone, uh, point different was, was very, very big. But uh, with that car I drove in Silverstone, uh, I felt that it was possible to fight for championship. Before, when I finished the race in uh, Turkey, in Valencia, uh, I knew myself that it was hard to fight for championship with not uh, a super competitive car. But in Silverstone, I, I really was, uh, I was really happy with the car, and uh, it was a way to motivate the team because it was uh, a tough period of the of the championship for us. Looking ahead to 2011, many changes to the regulations. There's curves coming back. There's movable rear wings. What do you think of that? I feel optimistic about the changes. Uh, every year there is the, the, the tweak of the rules to, to improve uh, overtaking, to improve the show in Formula One. So in 2011, I think, uh, is one of the biggest changes in that uh, direction uh, over the, the last couple of years. So. Uh, I'm very optimistic that uh, the rear win plus the curse will be a, a good solution for overtakings. Will be never as motorbikes or anything like that, but uh, hopefully uh, two or three maneuvers uh, every race uh, can be can be possible. And then uh, the Pirelli tires, which uh, probably is the most uh, uh, the biggest change for us uh, drivers and engineers in terms of adaptation of the tyres and uh, performance point of view because uh, at the end of the day the tyres probably is the, the most important thing in, in the performance of the car. You're going to have a lot to do as a driver in the car. The, the, the steering wheels are sprouting more and more buttons. There's more and th more things for you to change with brake balance through the lap, yeah. with curves, with all the other things that are going on. Is there too much now for a driver to think about? It's at the limit, we can say. I think uh, there is... Uh, basically one or two buttons to press uh, every corner at the exit of the corners there is the gear change obviously in the levers to to keep changing there is the radio communication with the team there is uh, some extra cautions some uh, alarms on the steering wheel etc so there is uh, yeah uh, not in a normal lap not in a qualifying but in a race situation in a uh, difficult situation in a wet race with poor visibility. There is uh, a little bit too much to do, but uh, we we are trained to do that, uh, and we have to improve uh, ourselves, and we have to be ready to do that. So we are professional drivers. Now we have uh, simulators uh, to train this and to arrive ready. So it's part of our job to to do the best we can. Now they always say at Ferrari that the team comes first. Uh, but for you personally, are you starting the season as the number one driver? No, not at all. I think uh, I started as last year. Felipe and me, we know we work for Ferrari. Ferrari is uh, on top of on top of us, uh, on top of our own interest. And we need to work for Ferrari. We need to make uh, to make sure that uh, one red car arrives uh, in the first position. 
but also at the same time we are competitive people and uh, we all want to to win and uh, with Felipe will be a nice competition as well uh, also we know that uh, from half through the season or last part of the season if one of us has no chance for the title we'll try to help the other one as uh, has been always like that but uh, to start with uh, uh, I don't feel any 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 preference from for any driver okay thank you very much Fernando.